When the baby is born, their brain has not reached its full maturity in terms of structures and functions. And in comparison with their adult counterparts, babies have weak neck muscles and can't support the weight of their heads. If a baby is angrily or let's say violently shaken, their fragile brain moves back and forth inside the skull. This can cause brains bruising, swelling, and bleeding into the skull. This is called the shaken impact syndrome, or what the shaken baby syndrome. And it's the reason why you should never and ever shake your baby again. The shaken baby syndrome usually occurs when a parent or a caregiver severely shakes a baby or a toddler due to frustrations or anger often when the child won't stop crying. <laughs> Let's make it clear that the intensity of motions at which the shaken baby syndrome appears is not clearly well defined. That's why all parents and caregivers should be absolutely careful and avoid at all costs to shake the baby. But it's generally agreed upon the fact that minor falls or bouncing a child on your knee will not hurt your baby. Welcome again to a holistic health talk. As we continue, please subscribe to our channel now and click on the notifications clock so that you don't miss any content. Thank you. Definition the shaken baby syndrome or SDS is a serious brain injury resulting from forcefully shaking a neonate, an infant or a toddler. It's also known as abusive head trauma, inflicted head injury and so on. The shaken baby syndrome destroys the child's brain cells and their connections and prevents the brain from gathering enough oxygen. SBS is the result of the infant being violently shaken with resultant neurological damage. The damage can cause a sequence of events in the brain starting with lack of oxygen or so-called hypoxia which leads to cerebral edema and increased intracranial pressure. The increase in intracranial pressure leads to ischemia and a decrease in the cerebral perfusion pressure which have devastating consequences. Infants typically have retinal or subdural hemorrhage which are pathognomonic for shaken baby syndrome. Risk factors The following factors may increase the risk that parents or caregivers are more likely to forcefully shake a baby and cause shaken baby syndrome. Number one, unstable family situations. Number two, young parenthood. Number three, single parenthood. Number four, substance abuse. Number five, stress. Number six, depression. Domestic violence, unrealistic expectation from the babies, unpaid or poorly paid babysitters or other caregivers. Also, men are more likely to cause shaken baby syndrome than are women. Who does shaken baby syndrome happen to? Shaken baby syndrome is primarily seen in children younger than two years, with the majority of cases occurring before the baby's first birthday. But the average victim is between 3 and 8 months old. However, children up to age 4 have been victims of this abuse. Symptoms and Signs of SBS Shaken baby syndrome symptoms and signs include but not only extreme irritability, difficulty staying awake, breathing problems, poor reading, vomiting, seizures or convulsions, paralysis, and coma. While sometimes there is a bruising on the face, you may not see signs of physical injury to the baby's outer body. Injuries that might not be immediately seen include bleeding the brain and eyes, spinal cord damage, and fractures of the ribs, skulls, and other bones. Many children with shaken baby syndrome might display other signs and symptoms of prior child abuse. In mild cases of shaken baby syndrome, a child may appear normal after being shaken. Over time, 
they may develop health or behavioral problems. The diagnosis is based on history and symptoms. However, doctors can use imaging tests like magnetic resonance, imaging or MRI, or computed tomography scan to confirm the nature of brain lesions caused by the shaken baby syndrome. Complementary tests can also be done such as complete blood counts, coagulation profile, etc. X-rays can also be performed to rule out injuries to other organs. Management of shaken baby syndrome. The shaken baby syndrome is a medical emergency. Prompt identification and treatments can be life-saving. In some cases, immediately following the violent shaking of the baby, the baby might start breathing. So, performing CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation with 30 chest compressions to two rescue breath will be necessary until medical help arrives. The mainstay of the hospital is supportive care, including maintaining adequate blood pressure, oxygen saturation, and stabilizing other vitals. If needed, medical ventilation and surgical evacuation may be necessary. Full up treatments of shaken baby syndrome depends on signs and complications. Anticonvulsants may be prescribed for baby presenting seizures. An ophthalmologist can intervene in management of partial or total blindness. Complications of shaken baby syndrome. Even brief shaking of infants can cause brain damage. Many children affected by the shaken baby syndrome die. Survivors of shaken baby syndrome may require lifelong medical care for conditions such as partial or total blindness, developmental delays, seizures or convulsions, learning problems, behavioral issues, and cerebral palsy. Prevention New parents' education classes can help parents better understand the dangers of violently shaking and may provide tips to soothe a crying baby and manage stress. When your crying baby can't be calm, you might be tempted to try anything to get the tears to stop. But it's important to always treat your child gently. Nothing justifies shaking your child. If you're having trouble managing your emotions or the stress of parenthood, seek help. Your child's doctor may offer a referral to a counselor or other mental health provider. And if other people help take care of your child, whether a caregiver, siblings, or grandparents, make sure they know the danger of violently shaking the baby. So when to see your doctors? Parents must seek immediate help if they suspect their child has been injured by violent shaking. Call 911 or emergency medical help and take your child to the nearest emergency room. Caring care right away may save your child's life or prevent serious health problems. I am Dr. Eric. This channel delivers information that support health and holistic wellness as well as lifestyle safety tips. All the information provided on this channel is tailored for holistic health educational purposes. Wow. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to our channel now and activate notifications so that you don't miss any content. Also remember to like and share our content with friends and colleagues. Thank you for watching this video on the shaken baby syndrome. Bye bye.
I don't really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead, baby